In December 2021, Chimera dropped the first expansion to their incredible base set. In this video we're going to put the new set through their paces by adding black and white to each one of the pigments, and also popping the paint onto some models to see how they really behave. So after two years in the making, 14 new pure pigments, can this set really live up to the hype? Yes. But before you rush out and buy the set, let me just run through some things with you because there's more to these paints than you might first think. First off, I want to say thanks to Chimera. You all know that I'm a big fan of Chimera products, I have been for years, and they kindly agreed to send me one of the first expansion sets to trial. So while I freely admit I'm biased here, I don't have any funky agreements in place, and all my views and opinions in this video are entirely my own. And second, I've been playing with these paints for about a month now, but you can still count this as a first impressions type video. There's so much more I want to do with these paints, so you can look forward to that in the future. Now if you don't know about Chimera paints, their incredible base set, which I made a video about back in September, consists of 13 pure pigments, designed to mix cleanly, giving highly saturated colours, with excellent coverage and a matte finish. Now this expansion keeps the same principle of pure pigments to give intense, highly saturated colours, but as the name suggests it's an expansion set. It does come with some extra bits of piece of information in the box however, which I found really useful. So if you haven't bought into Chimera yet, this expansion definitely can stand on its own, but I would probably buy the base set first. The base set offers 13 really solid pigments which have great coverage, which mix really cleanly into lots of other colours too. The expansion is a little bit more complicated. So with that in mind, this set is awesome. The ranges of colours here really expand your options, particularly if you're painting natural tones like skin, fabrics or dioramas. But for me, there are some standout pigments. Top of the list is Alizarin Crimson. Is it brown? Is it red? Is it purple? Is it the blood of Chimera cultists? I'm not sure. Technically it's red. What I do know is it makes an epic base for red cloaks. But I also plan on using it for trees, skin, or even for blood effects. A quick nerdy interjection here. This colour is quite confusingly named. On the bottle, pigment is listed as PR179, which when you look it up on handprint.com, which by the way is a really cool website if, like me, you're a bit of a paint nerd, on handprint.com, PR179 is listed as Heroline Maroon, not Alizarine Crimson. But I checked this with the guys over at Chimera, and it turns out the two pigments are basically named interchangeably, because the whole system's a hot mess, apparently. But whatever it's called, it's still lovely, and unlike anything else I've used before. One thing that really is worth talking about, though, is, and this is a consistent theme throughout the range, is this pigment is significantly more transparent than we've seen with other Chimera pigments. Not necessarily a problem, it just means it applies differently, so it's got a different learning curve associated with it, but definitely worth bearing in mind before you invest. Purple next. When you pop this alongside the violet and the magenta from the base set, they look quite similar, but purple has this gorgeous blue shift, which I absolutely love. Add white, and you can really see the difference between the three pigments. Along the same vein is tourmaline red. It's not the same calibre as the red, which in my opinion is the best paint in the entire Chimera range. But its orange shift is interesting enough to make it fun. Last up is a sexy little teal number. And yes, I think I might be getting a little bit carried away now. But Cobalt Blue Green is a gorgeous blue green colour, which I plan on using a lot. So far, I've only mucked about it with for this video, but yeah, I can see this one's gonna be a real favourite in the future. So those are my favourites. But I wanted to show you a couple more tests I did on the paints, just to help convince you whether you wanted to invest or not. So first up is a nice simple coverage test. I painted a line of carbon black and a line of the white, both by Chimera. And then I painted neat paints straight over the top just to see how they covered. And you can see in both cases, the coverage isn't quite as good as the base set, but it varies from pigment to pigment as you would expect. As I said before, being transparent isn't necessarily a disadvantage, it just means there's a different learning curve with the paints. So this is just really designed to give you a baseline to compare against for when you decide to invest in the set. This next test is a little bit more involved. Essentially I just lay out pigments right down the middle of my wet palette, spread them out so I can see how the paints extend, 
and then working from either end I'm just adding black and white to those. I'm adding black and white because I want to see what the paints look like when you start to make them more opaque. Adding black and white is the easiest way to do that. I also want to get a feel for what they look like when they're slightly more desaturated than out of the pot. Because these are more natural tones, I figured that would be a fairly useful test. But you tell me. So that's what I've learned so far. For sure I've got a long way to go with these paints, but if this video has been useful, make sure you give that like button a bit of a click, and if you're new to the channel, make sure you click that subscribe button as well. So to wrap up, if you love Chimera paints, or simply want to invest in some really high performing, interesting paints to use, I would definitely jump on the bandwagon, head over to Chimera's sites and pick up the box while it's still available. These are often limited run paint sets, they're available now, go over to the website and grab them, there's links in the description below. But if you're just dipping your toes into mixing paints, I'd start with a base set and see where it leads you. You won't regret it. Until next time, see you later.